right, Johnny. So we've cooked some fish today. Now it's time to get to the beef. We cooked the some shrimp. master. Yep. We cooked some shrimp. Yep. We cooked some catfish. We cooked some salmon. Now we're gonna cook what you're famous for. Ribeye. Ribeye. The ribeye. All right, well, let's, tell us how you did this. Tell us what we got here. Well, we got a nice fine ribeye here. And uh, we just put a little, uh, just a little light lean parings on it just to give it a little wet, make that season stick and melt. And we put a little of that Johnny Joseph steak rub, 2008 world champion, three points champion for SCA. Uh, and it is a steak rub. That's a steak rub. <laughs> and it's, it's a pork chop rub. It's whatever you want to put it that's on. That's right, that's right. So we can throw this on, the grill's right. Hey, it don't hurt your little practice in. We got a competition tonight, don't we? Yeah, for a rhinestone <laughs> cowboy. That's right. Tell us about this competition we're doing um, tonight. The MBBQA has a competition. It back started with, uh, was a uh, uh, the barbecue guys against the steak guys. <laughs> and uh, it was a challenge. And uh, now it's, uh, they're giving away a, uh, it's just a rhinestone cowboy hat. Yeah. Uh, made by Miss Linda. <laughs> so, uh, all right, Melinda Orson yep. from the shed. So, anyway, so we're gonna move these over to the steak. Yep. We'll talk about it over there. Yep. Let's do it. Yep. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Uh, this is my parent side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spray a little duck fat on there. Give it that shine. We're gonna we're gonna put that steak on that 45 right across there. Normally I'd tie this, but hey, we cooking steak. We're seasoning, tasting. So we're gonna let it uh, yep. profile today. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna let it go about a minute, 35. You know, I got it in my head. 700 degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah but we don't like cooking that much. I like to be about 635. Yeah. You know, and, and in that range, and it'll drop on down to 585, but somewhere in that sweet spot. I like you know what what I've always we'll check it with done this. a market. I've mean, I've always been 600 to 625. Yeah, yeah. That's a good number. Everybody's got their favorite number. Yeah. So we'll get that steak up, knock off that excess dust. We don't need it because it'll sit there and burn. We'll check to see where our sweet spot is on this grill. 583, see where we just lifted? We're going to ease right over here to 630 right there. So that's where we want. We're just going to go right back over there again. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Lord have mercy. Hush your mouth. Put a little of that. What we putting on it, Dwayne? A little clarified butter. Yep. Just a little. Just a little clarified butter. Just enough to give it a little bit. Close it back down. Let it cook. Let it cook. About a minute and a half. Yep. Minute and a half, two minutes. Yep. About a minute and 35. I got it in my head. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. About a minute and a half's gone by. Two minutes, somewhere mm -hmm. there. Somewhere, give or take. You know, who's keeping up with that? Right. Long, long as the internal tip is what we want when it's time to turn. Is, but right. yeah, but yeah. We're gonna see where we at. We probably gonna be somewhere around right here. 584, 600. So we're going back down this end for 600. Now, we done turned it twice this way. All right. Now we're gonna come back this way with it. That's what I say. Mm. Now how do you keep up with your grill marks? Making sure they're just like you want them to be. I know you've done enough, it's natural. Is there anything that 10 and 2, is that what you're looking for? Or just a, a feel you got down? How, how I make them make sure yeah. they're right? Yeah. It's just everything's on a 45. Yeah. I mean, 45. It, yeah. And uh, I turn it one way, two, and then the other way, two. Right. Yeah. So I don't get crossed up. Right. So. All right. So. Two to the right. Two to the left. So we got another minute and a half here. Yep, yep, yep. And then uh, we got one more side on the minute and a half. And that's right. That sucker's ready to pull off, right? Yeah, we're going to check the temp on this when this time's up here. We ought to be somewhere around the 119 point on that, And then we'll make that final turn. 
And then is that typically in a competition when you broke? Yep, yep. Broke I always check it to see where after that third turn gets yeah. complete. I like to see where I'm at. Yeah. So it don't uh, take off on me. Right. Either. Uh, usually, I mean, I'm, like I said, that temp. And, yeah. and, uh, Pull so. it off about that 119 yep. and watch it climb. Yep. Because you're probably going to carry it at 625, 635. What are you looking at? It's going to carry over after you pull it off at what, 8, 10 degrees? Uh, probably in the, today's weather, as warm as it is today, it'll carry it carry yeah, okay. Depends on how much I close it up. Right. But, uh, and if it ain't finished, we got a rack. You can always like, put it back. We'll put it back. <laughs> we got a rack that we'll elevate it on right yeah. here. We'll put it on this rack in there. It's like putting it in the oven. Right. And finishing it and getting it to our temp that we want. Yeah. So I like, I like to pull it. Do you set it on a pan or anything when you were elevating? No. No butter, no nothing else. No. There you go. So, after you turn them and get all your grill marks, from then on it's just temperature. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. Okay. But this right now, tell me where I'm at right now on this turn. So we're... Real good. Nice. Get one little turn out of it. We probably want to get a complete time out of this because it was already. But these are some good fresh cut beef that's not been frozen. Come from our meat market over there in El Dorado, Arkansas. close it up because it's getting so close to call it. Don't let that worry you. No, no, you can't let that worry you. Okay. Look at that. Look at my main man. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Can't let that worry you. Can't panic. You can't worry. You just feel it. Look at that. Mm -mm. I guarantee you. That's money right there. All right. So, yep, we got a little pouch to let it sit there and rest. And uh, we let it go for a couple of minutes. And uh, you don't want to close it all up. You close it up, it'll it'll climb faster than you think. So, but uh, so what's the, is the longer you let it stand, the better. Yeah, you need this. A ribeye is a muscle. It's, rest, it's yeah. a muscle. Yeah. And you got that hot fire, and you got that. She just tensed up, and then now it's just sitting there. Loosening up, juicing. Yeah. You watch what this steak when it comes off. It ain't gonna be nothing but juicy. Uh, All we need is a turn-in box. Look at there. Putting it on this block and see what we got. All right, Johnny. Let's cut into it. See so what... they gonna cut 50%. So 50% is right across here. And that's we gonna do it just like the SCA would do it. We're going to come right across there. And that's... It's right on. Look at that. Probably not be no good. What you think? <laughs> yeah. I can smell it. I can tell it's going to be good. You think? Get your piece. You didn't throw that away. <laughs> mm. That's the reason you got all that hardware for it, John. Mm, I'll tell you that's what. Damn it. I bet you everybody's mouth's watering right now. Man, that's something. good. It's that's just tough. That's fine. It's got that little back end heat. Mm hmm. That's uh, right. So, what you think? Another home run. You've hit one after another today. Johnny, we done a lot of cooking today. Yep. yep. We had a good time cooking. I think we've shown off your product. We told the world about you. 
Yep, I tell you what, I appreciate you, Mr. Wayne, right. and uh, and looking forward to working with you. Uh, and, and where are they going to be able to get this product? BarbecueBrokers.com. BarbecueBrokers.com. Thank you for checking out Barbecue Brokers today. I'm Dwayne Pointer. We're barbecue people helping barbecue people. Till next time, we'll see you on Barbecue Brokers. <laughs>